In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to download, edit, and use your text effects just with the help of your Android smartphone. If you are joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe. So, uh, we did a tutorial wherein we were using this text effect, all right, to design awesome um, church program flyers like this one you are seeing right here, and uh, this one also like this, this one here. All right so um one of our viewers requested us to do a tutorial on how to achieve this kind of text effect so i will be taking you through on how you can download this text effect editable text effect from freepik and edit them into realistic text effects that you can use for your designs so um one thing we are going to do right now is to go to google chrome all right but as you go do well to subscribe to the channel for more videos so we are going to search for text effect so be careful of the keyword text effect psd so this is the keyword pay attention text effect psd so psd means it's an editable one now there are tons of uh, websites with this text effects but allow us to download it from freepik so the first step is to download go check your text effects now on free pick um we have free and paid text effects now the ones that have a golden crown don't download that one those ones if you are using the free version of free pick but if you are a subscriber and you can ultimately access any kind of text effects here but we are not uh, we are using the free version actually so we are just going to go for the ones that don't have a crown icon on it just like these ones okay so what you need to do here is just to you know check through check through uh the text effect to see the one that you can download so um somehow i love this text effect i've used it for a uh, church program flyer design so i'm going to click on it and one thing i must tell you is when you click on it come down to the file description and check very well to see that you have both psd and jpg when you see just jpg just know that the text effect is not editable but if you see psd also included in the description then it means you can actually edit it so hit on the download button and you wait for it for it to download so i'm just going to download it and once it's done downloading open it extract it using your file manager and uh, we're going to extract it to a to a particular folder where we can easily remember so i'm going to extract this into this folder called fonts uh, it's a folder it's a folder on my phone so once you are done with that extracting it now you want to go to pixel lab and write your text so on pixel lab we're going to write let's consider there is a church program called uh, a church program coming up on the on the team prayer marathon so once you just write prayer and you go to your font setting then you want to use this font called loju serif but then you can use any other font all right i just choose this font because it's scripted enough and it's just good for those kind of church headings now we want to go and bold the text by clicking here let's make it bold and let's add some curve into the text okay increase this in size a bit then go to curve and let's add a curve of about 20 percent then use lazy position to tack it to the menu now you want to save your work so before you save your work go to background and select transparent so let's make it transparent now you see that the background is transparent though you can change the text color to any other color but i prefer remaining with uh, the white all right so let's give it same white color now what we're going to do is to save our work as png and as ultra so remember the next heading was marathon now we're going to write marathon this should also be in caps and uh, use little position also to make sure that it's on the middle of your design okay and um let's save this also so i'm also basically going to save this now after saving all of this go now to your google chrome and um 
search for photo p so you can basically search for photo p on your google chrome browser then you click on open from computer now let's go to the folder that has that psd markup um I'm going to search for it we extracted that into this folder called font so let's check it out and here we have our, our psd markup so we're going to click on this psd so the name of the markup of uh, the psd is here so we're going to click on this one having psd then you wait for it to load the fastness in which this load depends on your connection so you might face some difficulties opening this if your network is not too strong but don't panic just be patient it will load up in just a moment and as it loads do what to subscribe to the channel thank you so much okay guys so once you are uh, your psd is loaded you want to click now on layer okay click on there then the first thing is to hide this title all right let's hide the title the title is uh, those other minor minor text let me just show you so the title is this other small small text uh, we don't need it it's not in every psd that you want to hide this but when you have it just hide it now when you see they say double double click to change here as you can see don't click there instead click here on this white box okay double click on it twice then you wait for it now hide this by clicking on this eye icon to hide the text that is there then you click back on your layer which is here so that you can um, go back to where you can position it now click on fire fire is right up here okay let me just show you so file is here click on fire and click on open and place so i'm going to click on open and place now you can go now and check um go back to recent then we can check those designs that we did on pixel app so we have first of all prayer and you can increase this in size to fit well so we're going to begin with prayer okay then after putting it to your desired position go back to fire and click uh, on the save smart object then you wait for it to load and smart object has been updated now in order to see your uh, text effect you want to click back on this first option so you basically have to click here in order to see your text effect so when you click there you just wait it will come up in a while okay so once it comes up i will also show you how you to download how you can download it but as you wait just do what to subscribe to the channel guys all right subscribe to the channel so right now we have our, our psd text effect so i hope you can now see how beautiful the text effects look like but we are not going to save this with the background so we are going to click back on layer then you go to background and hide the background so you can see we have the background hidden so in order to hide any element you just click on these eye icons so the next thing i was going to hide is to hide shadow we don't want the shadow so click on it but if you love shadows on the text effects you can still leave it there are no issues now you click back on the layer to see your text effect now how do you save this text effect in order to save it click on file then click export as png then you click on save and uh, click on download so it's done downloading let's check this out let's check this out guys powerful so i believe you can now see this is our text effect okay so you can use this text effect now on designs to achieve this kind of designs as you can see here or you can even use it to run these other kinds of designs 
the truth is text effects make your design very much beautiful and much more appreciated okay so that's the beauty of text effects so thank you guys for watching i'll be hoping to meet with you again in our next tutorial you will just want to repeat the same procedure remember the theme of the church program was prayer marathon so we have achieved text effects for prayer so you can go ahead to do the one for marathon also okay so it's a combination you use pixel lab and uh, the photo p application then you get your text effects psd text effects from free pick just search psd text effects from free pick remember to download the free ones if you are not a subscriber to free pick okay so this video is just for educational purpose we don't intend to infringe on the right of free pick at all okay um i will see you shortly in our next tutorial thank you so much for watching this drop your comments on what you think god bless you